This is the offensive uh, most valuable player in Dallas in 2009. I had a good year, really important year in my life. It was the first year I ever like started and, and had an opportunity to kind of show what I could do. I thought to myself, like, if I don't finish this, how would I be able to push my own kids through adversity, or how would I be able to tell my story honestly? I consider this one of those challenges in my life. Regardless of how late it is, it kind of shows a message, a testament of sticking with it and finishing something you started. My name is Miles Austin, and I'm a mama talk. My wife has been really supportive. Say I get home now at four o'clock, I'm gonna be with the kids. I'm gonna be giving them baths. I'm gonna be laying down in their beds. But then right at like eight o'clock when I'm done, I have to pick up on the work that, that you know a normal college kid would be doing during that time. I'm really proud of him. I mean, I know it's tough. I see him every day, you know, go to bed at sometimes four o'clock in the morning and then get up with me at seven and make the eggs for the kids. Miles, who makes the best eggs? Dad. Mostly I think the reason he's doing this is so he can look our kids in the eye and say, listen, I finished my degree because it was important to us. She knows that I have to do this work and it's important to me and uh, in turn she's made it important in her life. What are you doing? Thank you. Love you. I feel like Monmouth, it's a gem in Jersey with its location, with its grounds, just everything about it aesthetically as well as academically. I got American Congress right now with uh, Dr. Patton, who's awesome. Then there's a little bit of a break, and then I take uh, a 1 o'clock, 115 class on uh, Russian history. There's some students that like kind of remember me from playing, but also I've been kind of removed long enough where I'm sure there's m many students that have no idea like that I used to play or that I was here once. And one of my classes is uh, sociology of aging. So even though I am older, I still feel, you know, uh, like a college student. I don't take like a reserved approach. I go in, I, I'm active in class and I try to, you know, speak up and give my opinion and, and life experience. Sometimes slowing things down isn't the worst thing. Sometimes kind of getting involved too quickly might, might be worse than, than slowing it down. I kind of wanted to get the full immersion of college again, but from a different perspective. The hardest thing going back is, is getting used to doing all that work again. You, you've been away from it for 10 years and now you're back, you know, thrust into it. I feel like you absorb so much just living that when you do go back, you just have a better right. baseline. More though, you know what I'm saying? So, what, what, ha, da, you know? And then when we put that foot in the ground, it's a fine line. So you don't have to necessarily do it on one. You can kind of gather, get harder on it, and then go, you know what I'm saying? Just try to, that's just be like, you gotta slant. I would say the one thing that I'm excited of is, is getting past this, uh, this step in my life, you know? It was obviously something that could have been done 13 years ago, or one class a year in the process, but I'm, I'm glad it's happening the way it's happening now. Just like I'm gl glad my career turned out the way it did. I just consider graduating now the first step of many in the future. So the next, you know, there'll be a new challenge, there'll be a new horizon that I'm looking to right after this one. Monmouth University is where it all began. Monmouth University is home.